Hello and welcome back to Planet Crafter. In the last episode we moved quite a bit around in the way of the structure and discovered we could make large rooms. And this is the outcome basically. A little bit iffy with lighting. But that's the old most of the old structure. This is a new room, which is a big room. This is another new big room. And another one, like a control center. And this is where all the crafting and the bio stuff is going to be done. Well, this is the bio room. Ah, right, so bacterial samples are all key. Bioplastic nugget, fertilizer, fertilizer tier two, explosive powder, and mutagens. Hey, I better have some to eat and drink, haven't I? Uh, question is now, where did I move it all to? Well, I'll move my cross. I need some food. Because we have had a development. We have lakes starting to form. I'm not sure how deep they get, which does make me wonder what happens to this module here. And the water rises above it. Does it stay submerged or does it? Uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. It still tops my option up at the moment, which could be quite useful. I won't mind going that way at some stage again. But anyway, let's go back and uh, see what is happening in the way of terraforming. So to the command center. Right, so here we are. We've got liquid water. We're at eleven point five nine percent towards the lakes. So that is going to get a lot deeper, is my guess. Oxygen six point nine five. Heat is going up nicely, pressure is stable at the moment, and biomass is stable. So, how do we do anything about biomass short of is there a flower pot? Lovely. That requires fertilizer anyway. Other than these veggie tubes. So I'm hoping that's something that's going to come later on. So, how. Where am I? That's not the room I want. This is the room I want. How do I make. Fertilizer requires algae sulf sulfur. So let's. Where do we find sulfur? Was it up in that corner where the osmium was? Let's go and have a look. I'll well, have you to start with. Your desire, yes. Of course, I left this here, didn't I? What is this collecting? Everything I expect. I'm going to disassemble you. Because I can get, place you down anywhere and get iron, and this still needs to melt more. Before I can gain access to the. What's that? And there's that to be investigated as well, yeah. 
Might, we're gonna have to go back to the rack in the wreck rack wreck in that maze and get the rest of that super metal but the leak is definitely getting deeper this is the thought how much power are we producing Consuming 337.5 kilowatt hours, so we're at 409, so we're fine at the moment. Uh... No, don't want you in there. Seem to have unlocked anything. That's a good point. Where am I going to place my launch? Let's start thinking about a launch platform. Where would I place it? How big is it? Oh, I haven't got the materials on me, have I? So titanium, iron, aluminium, titanium, iron, and super alloy. Remember we got that screen that said it would allow us to a planetary map. Oh, that is big. That's the best location. I can always move it. GPS satellite. A magnetic field protection rocket. Tracks. Iridium asteroids. Gives a global generation bonus by protecting the magnetic field. Pressure multiplier, 1,000%. That's quite interesting. Asteroid attraction rocket. Tracks uranium asteroids, gives a global heat generation bonus. So that requires a rocket. They all require rocket engines. And super alloys. Interesting view of the base. Okay, see, rocket engines require uranium and iridium rods, so that maybe that's what it was for. So, I'm gonna need a couple, aren't I? dark. Oh, it's night time. Okay, uranium is the issue. I'll take some food with me, and as soon as it gets light, we'll set on that expedition. I think we're going to go back to that wreck where we found a super alloy. I'm going to have to put a door on this side, I think. Oh, it is very dark. 
We've got enough power, haven't we? Yeah, we've definitely got enough power. 16.07 kilowatt hours. That's because it's night, isn't it? I think we left some super metal last time we came here. I thought there was a couple of blobs I, I couldn't take back but spied in the distance sort of thing. Maybe I was wrong. So check in here a minute. You're on T. You got stuff in you which I'll take, in which case I'm not with you can get you. more stuff but I'll leave you in case I need to put some of this somewhere. Oh, plants. Let's take that to you. Aha, there's some super metal. I knew I saw some somewhere. Super alloy, sorry. Right, any more lost them here? Yes, is the answer. It's a bit more down here. It's a bit more over there. Close. It's another piece over there. Do that at some stage. Is anything good down here? Right, I better start thinking about fun my way out of here. Before I start to need require some more oxygen. Oh aluminium, I'll take you. Lots of iron here. Still no uranium, my dear. Am I out? I am. Well, let's go, yeah. Let's not get too lost, though. Inventory full, I can see sort that out. I drop you. Aha. Titanium can go.
that was a good find. Right, let's concentrate on getting home alive. I know it's not that far, but you never know. Wow, that's quite a big rocket. That is larger than I was expecting. Let's say that then, thinking about it, it would be quite large because the bunch tower is quite big. I've got to stand back and have a look to see how, just how big it is. Wow. Okay, let's launch our first rocket. Oh, the sky's changing colour. Well, it did say it was going to track them. what we've got shall we yes any more So does the rocket continue to attract uranium rich asteroids or is it just the one off? That's my question. One under over here somewhere. Okay, perhaps not then. Weather well, certainly does sound rough, but it doesn't really, other than a slight dimming of the lighting, it doesn't really seem to have any wind effect. No blueprint received sign. I need oxygen, food, or water. Take all the view. 